Well, we're mic'd up tonight to talk Louisiana Raging Cajun basketball. We've got the voice of the Raging Cajuns is Jay Walker. You can follow him on Twitter at UL Cajuns Voice. Jay, I appreciate you coming on. We're midway through the season. Louisiana's 9-4. and four. What's your take on the team so far? Well, I like the way this team defends for the most part. I like the energy that they play with. Uh, they appear to have great chemistry. Um, and they've got a they've got a pretty good inside rebounding presence that's probably a little better than I expected. And, and I think that the, those are those are the things I've seen I, that I think all Cajun fans should be happy with. Yeah, this team's size is it's, it's got a lot of size inside, and we've seen that from a number of newcomers coming in. How do you feel those newcomers, guys like Theo Akwuba, have kind of assimilated? I think they've assimilated well, and Bob Marlin will tell you the same thing. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to spend around these guys because they've been at home so much, but we just got back from that trip uh, to UTA, and I could just tell on that bus ride that these guys have bonded they're all on the same page. They're good teammates to one another. So I'll say they've acclimated themselves extremely well. Who's your first half MVP? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Akuba. Um, you know, I, I think that he's been very consistent, especially as a rebounder. Um, I think that he overall has shot the ball well. Uh, he leads uh, the league in block shots and is one of the lead leaders in the country. Uh, in block shots. Uh, so I'm going to go with the big guy for those reasons and the fact that he's a lot bigger than I am. We are mic'd up tonight with the voice of the Raging Cajuns, Jay Walker. You know, you mentioned Theo Akuba right there. He is one of those seven newcomers. Uh, Brain AU is another one of those guys. Where do you think his game can go from right now? Because we've heard nothing but great things about brain AU, but we, we really haven't seen that translate on the court. Well, I'll tell you this. Brian AU came to UL with the reputation of being a very good shooter, and that has not happened for him as of yet. Now, I you see signs of him getting ready to break out of that. Now, he hasn't been completely healthy. He's got a little knee issue. As a matter of fact, he didn't play in the second half uh, of the second game uh, against UTA. I think that once he finds his stroke to go along with the fact that he leads this team and assists, I think then people are going to start to understand what a good basketball player he is. But the shot's got to be part of it. Last year, Malik Wilson <laughs> burst onto the scene as a freshman. He's played okay, but do you think my judgment of just okay is a matter of our expectations being too high for him, or do you think he's in a sophomore slump? No, I don't think he's in a sophomore slump. I do agree with the first part about what you said. You know, expectations are very high from a league. What we haven't seen him do is do it night in and night out. I would like to see him be a little bit more consistent. I don't expect him to hit five threes and score 26 points and have 16 rebounds like he did last Saturday. I think that's asking a bit much. But um, Malik has been better some nights than others. And when we get the, uh, the the Malik who's been good, not the one that was crazy good the other night, but when we get the good Malik, we like that an awful lot. I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more consistency there, but um, he's still still a heck of a basketball player, and he's a lot of fun to watch. Who's the player, and maybe the answer is Malik, who's the player the Cajuns need the most out of in the second half of the season? Yeah, I'm going with him. You know, because he's got he's got the ability to put a team on his back. And, and not everybody on that ball club has got that ability. But if he's going to go out and he's going to get you 13 or 14 points, get you five, six, seven boards, um, get, get up three steals, uh, make a couple three-pointers every game, and, and, of course, he's second on the team in assists. If he does that, he doesn't have to fill up the stat sheet, but if he does do the things where – where he what he averages and maybe a little bit more than that then yeah I think he's the guy who can go ahead and make him go and like I said on any given night he can put the team on his back and he did that Saturday if you're looking <laughs> into the future in six weeks or so right before the conference tournament what do you think we're talking about you know I don't know uh, and and the reason I don't know is because everything is so different uh, this year uh, with the the games on back-to-back -back nights you know if you look at what's happened in the Sun Belt this year. 
right now, I don't know if anybody has stood up and said, hey, I'm the best team in the league, um, especially in the Western Division, where everybody is, is pretty jumbled. So I don't know what we're going to see, you know, five or six weeks from now when it's when it's time to, for the conference tournament. I still think that there's a lot of basketball to be played. And sooner or later, somebody in the West is going to separate itself maybe from the rest of the teams. But the crazy thing is I have no idea who it's going to be. Okay, my final question is going to come from the end of the bench. I think that's the equivalent of saying out of left field. Uh, put it, if you, you are, you're a DJ. You're a DJ Jay Walker. If there was one song that, that describes this season, can you, can you come up with one? Ooh. Um, oh, gosh. This is a random question I thought of right on the spot. I'll tell is you it, what, I go, I'll go with meatloaf. Objects in the rearview mirror may seem closer than they are. <laughs> That's a good choice. <laughs> oh, Jay, I always enjoy having you on. I think I'm going to start asking you that question every time you're, you're on. I'm going to try to find a way to make you find a song to, uh, to talk well, about what we're talking well, about. You know, if, 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 I have a, uh, if I know that you're going to do it, it may, I may get a little more quickly next time. I put you on the spot tonight, and I do apologize for that. Oh, that's all right, man. That's, you know, you know I love to talk music. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a way to have some fun here. Jay, I really appreciate you coming on as always. Oh, hey, thanks for having me, Andrew.